Hello, my name is Rob Mercer. I'm the Assistant Principal School Organization here at Salesian College Chanson. In this short introduction video, I'll give you an overview of what we call the Becky Transition Program, as well as a little background on why we do things the way we do them here at Salesian. First, let's get a brief overview of the origins of the Salesians and how that impacts the Becky program. We'll start in Italy and then we'll head over to Australia. First to Italy, the birthplace of the founder of the Salesian order, Don Bosco. Becky's the name of Don Bosco's birthplace in 1815. Uh, it's a humble regional area. It's about 40 kilometers from Turin in the north of Italy. Um, this time in history during the life of Don Bosco um, is a time of enormous social upheaval and change. So the name Becky represents Don Bosco's start in life. Here the name represents our boys start in secondary school. Don Bosco dedicated his life to the betterment and education of children. Uh, he was a follower of St. Francis de Sales, who was from France, and he was born in 1567. He was known for his gentle approach. Uh, the term Salesian comes from this link. Don Bosco was known uh, for the creation of what was called the preventive education system. So this was based on the idea of reason, religion, and loving kindness. So the idea that this would lead to the creation of good Christians and honest citizens. This gentler approach was unusual at the time when harsher and more extreme practices were, were more common in education. Now, from that start in Italy, we go forward in time and head to Australia. Uh, Salesians first came here in 1922, but it wasn't until 1957 that they founded this school. The rich history and background of the Salesians still influences the decisions we make and the way, we, uh, the way our school functions. From the names of the buildings or the layout of the campus, we're ever mindful of our history. The design of the buildings uh, as well as is inspired by Don Bosco and his concept of the oratory as a home that welcomes. Uh, the use of folded metals, brickwork, the exposed timber is all influenced by Don Bosco's historical home. Most importantly, what we value in our Catholic and Salesian tradition come from the teachings and philosophy of Don Bosco. So with that in mind, our transition program is of huge importance to us. We know that the transition from primary school to secondary school is one of the biggest, if not the biggest, changes in a boy's life. In order for us to make this as smooth as possible and make Salesian feel like a home that welcomes, we do as much as we can. This year, obviously, we have had to adapt and adjust some of the things we usually do. Um, but we still do the same amount of things. So for example, we start off with the ACER testing day for boys. Um, they would have received a cap and some other items of welcome during this. The test itself is there so that we uh, know um, where students are at um, so that we can support them and we can track their progress consistently over their time here um, at Salesian. Uh, there was also a virtual orientation evening which took place this year. Uh, all of the year sevens logged in for a liturgy and a welcome from the year level coordinators and the principal. Um, they were told what to expect. So they would have met their oratory teachers, uh, oratory is a little bit like homeroom, um, as well in this session. Uh, in the mail, they would have been sent an individual letter welcoming, welcoming them from a year eight student. Um, you know, that would have covered things like uh, how the canteen works, um, how the, how recess works, and you know other things that uh, boys find important. Um, in the mail, they would have also received a house key tag, um, and that would have told them what house they're in. So to support this, there was a, a, a Becky 
video made by the heads of house welcoming them to their house and that would have showed them around the school um, houses are used to foster competition and belonging within the school so there's things like house sports house activities house carnivals uh, then of course there's this suite of videos you're watching now so as well as this intro video i'm doing um, i have another one which shows you uh, pam and simon everywhere which is your links in uh, as parents to our learning management system um, there's one from Mr. Brendan Douglas, who's our assistant principal students on uh, well-being of young men at this time in their lives. And there's also one from Ms. Susie McAvale, our head of development and marketing, which is about uh, communications. Next year, don't worry if you forget anything, there'll be a welcome pack mailed to you with all the key information, including where to go on the first day uh, and information about the all-important camp. Um, we also uh, love to have as much parent involvement as we can. Uh, often in secondary schools, as they run a little bit different to primary schools, parents feel that they're no longer needed, but there's plenty that they can do to, to assist, uh, including um, uh, coming to the parents' information, the PBL social information e evening, uh, which is in midterm one. Um, also, there is a parents association um, and they make very valuable contributions to the school and the community and the boys who attend the school as well. Um, so we encourage involvement in those things from parents. I will leave you with a couple of quotes from the boys up on the screen there about their experience of transition. Um, we hope that your boy has a, has a great end of the year at their primary school and we sincerely hope that they find Salesian as a home that welcomes. I would also like to thank you on behalf of the school for choosing Salesian College for your son. Uh, we know it's not an easy decision uh, and it's not a privilege that we take lightly uh, that you have chosen us to educate your boy. Um, know that every decision that we take as a school has your son's education and well-being at its core. Thank you.